Welcome. In front of me is a Huawei Pure S70 Pro, and today I'll show you how we can import your contacts from the SIM card to the device. So to get started, you will want to open up your dialer application or right in here, and we're going to navigate to the four dots in the corner, settings, and it looks like we actually might need to navigate to contacts. So contacts, let's try that again, settings, and yep, so we can see there is a difference when you navigate to the contacts tab right here and I'll open up the settings in here. It gives you the import export option. So that's what we're going to press and we're going to select import from SIM card. This will display all your contacts that are located on your SIM card. You can quickly select all of them by clicking right over here on this checkbox. And there is one additional thing that you might see that isn't visible for me is when you are signed into your Huawei account, it might let you swap between the Huawei account and the device as an import option, which that would be probably visible somewhere here or here. Or alternatively, it might appear when you press yep, import. So when you click on import with your contact selected, it does give you phone as an option. If you have a Huawei account, it will show up here as another option. I'm going to select phone as it's the only option. And when I go back, I should have my contacts visible right in here. Now, Huawei does show you contacts from the SIM card and the phone, which is a little bit annoying as you can see that I now have duplicate contacts. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind. And if you're wondering if it shows those contacts already, uh, why would you import contacts? Uh, the simple answer is when you select any kind of contacts, right? What did I just do? Anyway. Um, so if you select any kind of contact and you want to edit it in here, contacts that are located on your phone, I can edit a lot more options in here. So you can add multiple numbers. You can choose if it's mobile or home or work, whatever like that. You can add emails, notes, groups, you can add things like birthdays, uh, company num uh, names or whatever, uh, also addresses and stuff like that. Now, if I select the same contact, but the one that is on the SIM card, and I select edit, I can only choose the name, the number, and the ringtone for it. And that's it. You can see it's much more limiting. Additionally, also contacts that are stored on your phone. So these ones right here, you can also add things like contact uh, photos. So there we go. Now, anyway, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to smash like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.